I am Marie-Christine Oba. This is my tribute to my friend Mouet Barboff. At the end of July 1999, I arrived in Vendée at François Sigaud, our former president of the IMA, for the colloquium on cow dungs which he had organized and which was held in Triez, 15 kilometers from his home. And who jumps at my neck? But Mouet Barpov, a charming, pretty lady whom I had never seen before, but whose name, Seagull, she used to sign her papers, intrigued me. With great enthusiasm, she showered compliments of the paper I had written on the freshing waters. What started off a serious classroom work session? quickly became enthusiastic dance of molding gallets of cow dung mixed with laughter. This was the beginning of a beautiful friendship. For me, Mouet represents 20 years of a friendship adding up the passionate and precise knowledge, the permanent enthusiasm for new discovery, the true generosity, the cheerfulness and the simplicity of a talented woman. Mouet was passionate about bread, this universal food. A research ranged from all stages such as cultivating the grain in the fields, to that of bread making, to festive bread, not forgetting the daily breads invented in the regions of France and Portugal. All her research Carried out mainly in these two countries, it is remarkable for her thorough, detailed, precise, and rigorous work. I still enjoy seeing her arrive in the room where her thesis defense was taking place, dragging her shopping trolley. It's unusual, isn't it? She drew from the trolley the sixth volume of her 2232 pages thesis on the breads of Portugal, from which she wrote the book The Bread of Women, published in 2016. A year ago, on July 18, 2020, during one of our Sunday morning conversations, Mouet was surprised that she never sent me her TV. She sent it immediately. I counted the pages. There were only 30. You will find it in the AFMA letter number 41 of June 2021, where Pierre Del Porto published it. While waiting to read it, you can go on the internet. Here are the first pictures that are displayed, and there are several pages. On the eighth picture of this display is Jacques Maou, her baker friend who tribute her this video that we saw on Saturday. Mouet invited him to participate in the Bread Festival in Mafra, Portugal, in July 2015. It is one of the 13 exhibitions they organized and participated in Europe. During another conversation, she was telling me lately that she was thinking giving up writing books. It must be said that she published only 11 books in 14 years. Six of them won national and international awards. She has created two associations. The first one, L'Europe Civilisation du Pain, in 1999. The second one, Moleriae, in 2006, following the International Congress on the Grinding Industry, she organized in 2002 at La Ferté Soujoire, assisted by François Sigaud, our former president of IMA. She was in charge of the IMA Bread Workshop. She organized a study trip for the Société d'Ethnozootechnie for a week in Portugal. Pierre Del Porto, who participated, will tell you what it went down in history. 
Personally, I will forever regret not having been able to attend, unfortunately kept in France by my professional activities. She participated in three IMA congresses, the 16th in Slobozia in Romania in 2011, where she was a guest of honor, the 17th in Tartu in Estonia in 2013, the 18th in Marseille in France in 2014. The one that delighted us both the most was the one in 2013 in Tartu, because Mouet loved life and she appreciated good food, as I. We attended the rye workshop. Several speakers brought rye-based food to illustrate what they were saying. Thus, under the rule of the king of rye vodka of Estonia, we tested on slice of Estonian and Lithuanian rye bread, pork from the Estonian smoke saunas, and Frenchies as the log of Satmore crossed by a straw of rice and the sand nectar refined on rice straw. For dessert, I made the gingerbread, the true one made from rye flour. Mouet leaves behind an impressive work in addition to her books. 31 papers, 106 lectures at conference, radio broadcast, etc., one film, nine videos of which one is currently screened in the exhibition at Musem in Marseille, Le Grand Metze, whose curator is our colleague and friend, Edouard de Lobry. She was internationally recognized and she had received numerous awards, amongst them six gourmand awards and best of the world. On March 19th, passing by Paris, I called to meet her, but she was rushing to a baker's to get one more clarification before handing over the proof to the publisher of her book, La Craquante et Prestigieuse Baguette. In 208 pages, in this fundamental work, which was scheduled to be published on May 14, she wrote everything about the symbol of French culture, which we all hope will soon be classified as an intangible cultural heritage of humanity by UNESCO. Over these two years of writing, she was swimming in happiness with each of her discoveries on the mysteries of the baguette. She was amazed and rejoiced in it. She was convinced she would receive loads of compliments. I am so sad that she will not be present for the launching and receive them. On the morning of March 22, she handed over the proof to the publisher. At 5 p.m., she took a well-deserved walk with her granddaughter on a beautiful spring afternoon. Struck down by a heart attack, it has been her last walk. Thank you so much, Mouet, for the legacy of your immense work that you have accomplished and generously shared with all of us. Thank you, thank you, Mouet, for your friendship, your confidence, your knowledge, and all the fun we have shared. I just want to point out that lying on the fertility stone has had no consequence for our respective beloved children, Boris and Adrien, your sons, and Jean-Baptiste, my son. Bye, Mouette.